You know, it's not often you get a week where the fundamental rules of reality just seem to get a major rewrite. But seriously, in just the last few weeks, the boundaries of physics, government, and AI have been completely redrawn. We're talking about things that, until now, were pretty much pure science fiction. Okay, let's just dive right into this, starting with a breakthrough at Google that sounds like it was ripped straight from a movie script. And this isn't just some small step forward. We're talking about a giant leap into a reality that classical physics says shouldn't even be possible. So get this, using their Willow quantum chip, scientists at Google have actually created something that, according to the laws of physics you and I learned in school, simply cannot exist. They have basically stepped outside the rule book of reality. So what is this stuff? Well, think about something stable, like ice or water. This new thing is the total opposite. It's called a flow topological state, which is just a really fancy way of saying it's matter that only exists when you're constantly pumping energy into it. The spinning top analogy is perfect. It only stays upright when it's spinning. The moment that energy stops, poof, it's gone. It just vanishes. This really puts it all into perspective, right? On one side, you've got the normal, predictable world we live in. And on the other, you have this brand new, flickering state of matter that's playing by a completely different set of rules. It's like we've opened a tiny window into the quantum world. And yeah, it is absolutely as bizarre as you've heard. And this, this is where the sheer power of what we're dealing with just becomes mind-boggling. To put this in perspective, that same Willow chip ran a calculation in under five minutes. The world's fastest supercomputer, it would take billions of years to do the same thing. No, that is not an exaggeration. Billions of years crunched down into less than five minutes. I mean, a feat like that just forces you to ask a really, really strange question. Where in the world does that kind of computing power even come from? It's so far beyond anything we have that it's actually breathing new life into this wild, mind-bending theory from quantum physics. Okay, now this is just the theory, but it is a wild one. The idea is that maybe quantum computers are this powerful because they're literally borrowing processing power from other parallel universes. You know when you see a machine solve a problem that should be impossible? You really have to start wondering if it's getting a little help from somewhere else. So, while Google is busy exploring other realities with quantum physics, some folks are using the AI we have today to totally reshape our current reality. Let's shift gears from the super theoretical to a very real-world experiment happening right now in Albania. You heard that right. Albania has appointed an AI named Dila to its government cabinet. I mean, she started out as just a chatbot helping people with paperwork, but now she's been promoted to tackle one of the country's biggest and oldest problems, corruption. Her new job is basically to be the ultimate incorruptible digital gatekeeper. Every single proposal for a government contract has to go through her. She's programmed to sniff out any signs of money laundering, criminal connections, any red flags at all. And if she finds something suspicious, she has the power to just block it automatically. And here's the kicker. The Albanian prime minister is making an incredibly bold claim that Dila will make government contracts 100% incorruptible. That is a massive bet on whether an AI can finally fix a problem that humans have been failing at for centuries. Now, while Albania is using today's AI to solve old problems, researchers in China claim they've built a completely new kind of AI, one that could honestly change the future of the technology itself. This new model is called Spiking Brain. And look, if the claims they're making are true, this isn't just a small improvement. A 100 times increase in speed and efficiency, that's a revolution. That would completely reset the entire global AI race. So the key difference is how it thinks. Imagine reading a sentence. A model like ChatGPT kind of uses brute force. It throws massive power at analyzing every single word all at once. Spiking brain, on the other hand, is designed to work more like our own brains. It only fires the specific neurons it needs for that one task and ignores the rest. And that makes it incredibly energy efficient. But this isn't just about a technical achievement. This is a huge geopolitical move. The model is specifically designed to run on Chinese-made hardware, not the restricted American NVIDIA chips that power most of the world's AI. This could give China a crucial advantage and really independence in the global AI arms race. Okay, so this dizzying pace of development, we're talking physics-breaking computers, AI government officials, it's finally triggered a huge response. Governments are realizing they can't just sit on the sidelines anymore, and the U.S. has just made a major, major move. 
For the first time, the era of self-regulation seems to be ending. Big AI companies like OpenAI and Google are now going to be forced to submit their most powerful models for government safety testing before they can release them to the public. New rules like what we're seeing in California even demand a built-in kill switch for these systems, and companies can be sued if they don't play along. Government oversight is no longer optional. It's mandatory. So from creating matter that shouldn't exist, to deploying AI ministers, to a global race for AI supremacy, these aren't hypotheticals anymore. This stuff is happening right now. We are rapidly gaining the tools to build a world that was once considered flat-out impossible. So the only question left is the one you see right here.